think Victor's focus on peak is important for our customers because we're the only company in the world uh, that has 750 people that wake up every morning thinking about how we can improve and enhance our customer experience. In order to allow our customers to be confident in choosing Victrex Peak, we've always chosen to invest in capacity ahead of demand. Um, that ranges from our investment in Monomer, where we back integrated to have our own raw material supply back in the early 2000s. Uh, our most recent very large investment, £100 million, to build our third peak polymer plant. Uh, we started operating in uh, 2015. That gives us over 7,000 tonnes uh, of peak capacity. And more recently, we've been investing more downstream in our forms uh, and parts businesses, where we've invested in trauma manufacturing facilities, in composites facilities, and, and recently in uh, gear production also. Typically, we invest roughly about 6% of our annual revenue into R&D. Since we have various technical centres around the globe, all of which have different levels of specialisation. So in the UK, we have our newly opened Polymer Innovation Centre, we also then regionally have technical centres that also focus around application development. Yeah, I think the evolution from a market's perspective, uh, in the early days it was very much about looking for metal replacement opportunities across a, a, broad, a broad spectrum uh, of industries. I'd say in more recent years we've really focused our efforts on, on six key industries which are automotive, uh, aerospace, energy, electronics, uh, medical and more recently our manufacturing and engineering business unit. All of those markets you can see the mega trends that are impacting them and how your technology and innovation really is well suited to drive them and help them meet their needs. So ultimately while we have a tremendous history behind us I think there's even greater adventures ahead.